Yesterday's auction here in Geneva was the second highest auction total for a various owner sale in Swiss francs with over 30 million francs of sales. That is twice the pre-auction estimate and a stellar sold rate of over 95%. The sale went pretty well. I mean, uh, you know, uh, the final results is uh, we sold 75% of the lots. Uh, made about 120 uh, percent by value and uh, you know all the big lots uh, sold uh, and sold well. I think we had very strong results yesterday um, especially the last section in the catalogue which was the section on Breguet watches. This was one of the great success of the sale. Among all the Breguet pieces we had in the sale most of them went way above the estimate so it was a success. There were a few surprises yesterday and I think I was particularly surprised by how well the top lots fared, meaning we knew they were popular, we knew there was much interest, but the market took it probably another 10 to 20 percent above any reasonable expectation. We achieved 7.5 million Swiss francs with the premium, but that was combined with the other spring sale that we had, which you know was in March, so basically the total was about 14 million between the two sales. My conclusion is that the market is more demanding than ever before and also um, more generous and eager to bid uh, when things are impeccable. From left, in the room, 3 million 8. Then that chance, 3 million 8. So in the room, 3 million 8. The star of the lot was, you know, the Patek 25-23 World Time. The estimate was 500,000. It ended up making 1.2, uh, which, you know, in the end was the right price for a watch of that quality. We sold the um, most expensive piece of the sale, which was a desk uh, traveling clock, which achieved a uh, hammer price 350,000 Swiss franc and uh, it went to the Breguet Museum. You now we had an enamel Vacheron Constantin pocket watch uh, that the enamel was made by Charles Poluzzi, which was of absolutely fantastic quality. And the market spoke, but you know, at the 150,000 Swiss franc hammer, I think it's probably uh, you know, the world record for uh, a kind of semi-modern enamel uh, pocket watch by Vacheron. We see today not only a market that is bigger than ever before, but also the um, scope of different countries and continents from where collectors come from. I remember that we had maybe 10 countries 10 years ago. Yesterday's auction featured 42 different nations participating in the auction. That is an incredible number. The growth right now of the collector's market is coming from mainland China. Um, they're the ones that are pushing the trends and in the end, you know, what they will decide to like is what really is going to determine what's fashionable in the market. The public was, um, uh, we had um, uh, European collectors, um, Asian collectors, um, you know, very strong bidding as I said from Asia. Um, especially for some um, pocket enameled watches. So right now they're doing enamel pocket watches. I think it has to, you know, continue in a trend where, you know, they're, they're going to move towards, I think, slowly but surely into the vintage Patek Philippe uh, wrist watches as well. So, you know, that's an, an exciting prospect. Today we see a great level of sophistication on the market. When we see three days previous to the auction, some hundred people in the room examining watches with loops magnifying times five or even ten, looking for minute details on dials and cases, then we know it's all about condition, quality and originality. I think we, we've achieved a point where the market is very mature, very selective. There's a very focused market right now on what the new clients want. If the pieces are not top quality, people don't want to buy them. Our efforts are to concentrate our expertise to find these pieces and to offer them at auction. Fair warning all of you, no regrets. Once, twice, it's all 38,000. Thank you very much.